welcome to Renfrew Reviews and today we did a Hong Kong content review, this time for Ebola Syndrome. And yeah, <laughs> um, where do I even begin? Uh, I debate whether I should even bother doing a video for this one. Um, I, the reason I have done what I'm doing right now is because I always spend the money, it's already on eBay, hopefully it's sold very, very soon. Yeah, this was not for me. Ebola Syndrome, wow, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, this is a category three film. Bola Syndrome is a full on category three, over the top, super violent, gory. Um, it has a lot of rape, a lot of sexual violence in it. It has a lot of odd swearing in it. It has some very questionable kind of um, racial slurs. It has a very odd sort of inconsistent kind of storyline, which is kind of very deliberate. Uh, reading the kind of the booklet as well, it's very much a kind of chaos based movie. It is basically. I don't know, uh, Hong Kong's version of the Joker, if they had a version of the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of wraps itself within a kind of a weird, kind of very bleak, very specific dark humour, which, you know, um, I get to a certain degree, because the, you know, the situation can be funny. Um, this is a very odd film, and I don't really know who this is for necessarily. And this comes into the ultimate question of like, you know, very much like comedy and horror and all this kind of stuff is very subjective and everyone has different tastes. I get it. You can have a violent film, you can have nasty things happening in a film. This film's in my collection, which there's a lot of nasty things happening in films. But I always think for me personally, there has to be some sort of purpose or there has to be something about it that makes it kind of stand out or to justify the level. And this one is just there for the sake of there but i understand why because one is to make some money and you've got a really big actor as your main lead anthony wong man wow i mean just an incredible actor who's in the eternal affairs movies he was in the recent exile johnny toe was fantastic going from something like those types of movies and obviously him being kind of infamous for the untold story another category free film he definitely likes these really sicko kind of nasty perverted kind of characters and if he enjoys playing it, if he enjoys kind of breaking the conventions and pushing those types of ideas forward then all right each to their own I guess um and it makes sense from the director of also from one told story obviously uh category three if you're not familiar with it people that aren't familiar with category three was it is a Hong Kong certification that basically came up quite famous during the 80s and obviously died out during the kind of late 90s into the early 2000s and it's basically a certification which allows you to go full on force in the sense of you know violence and gore sexual content and you know some films have one or the other like story of ricky has a lot of gore <laughs> a write a ghost story has a lot of sexual content and this one has all three this is the over the top to the extreme of all three of those and this is maybe trying to deliberately push those kind of ideas and just see what they can get away with and just kind of like, hey, let's just go for it. And to that, there is a little bit of credit in the sense of like, you know, the fact that this film did get made, the fact that this, you know, they just did ad-lib the lines, the fact they just, you know, had despicable characters, the fact they had a non-inconsistent story, it felt rushed, it felt cheap. And I think a lot of it was deliberate and it proves that, you know, during that kind of time, hey, look, I can make something like a bowler syndrome, a horror, it literally is a horror movie, a serial killer slasher horror based kind of movie, and it can make a lot of goddamn money. And it came a kind of a, a, a weird kind of trend uh, with these films and it's interesting because obviously my relationship and kind of my understanding of category three as I've kind of watched more and more movies recently obviously with the uh, seventh curse kind of thing and some of the ones that I felt initially was kind of like whoa a bit too much even something like naked killer with the poster like it is has more subtlety <laughs> more kind of class and has more of a kind of a direction and approach than something like a bowler syndrome does a bowler syndrome everything is to the max everything is to the extreme there isn't really a story apart from Chicken, his character, his name everyone one plays Chicken, and he's just a murderer. He's just going around murdering a lot of people. He's very unbalanced, he keeps everyone that was dicking me around, he's very jealous, very paranoid, and he just, you know, ends up having the Ebola syndrome down to some very nasty acts he does, and he doesn't really care, and the photo act is just him spreading it because he can, chaos ensue, and uh, to summarise my thoughts and opinions here, Bowler Syndrome isn't for me. Uh, it's too much. Um, it's a category 3 film that is so extreme, 
deliberately to in terms of all the content that makes category three kind of famous and if you're seeking that if you want something that's so over the top so ridiculous and all three of those kind of aspects of a category three film you might have a good time you might get a like just like curiosity hey i was curious i picked up the film on 88 film blu-ray and i kind of regret it because ultimately i think the film is quite boring if i'm being honest when you take away a lot of the violence when you take away a lot of the ad lib and you know the so-called performances the film doesn't really have much going for it it's an hour and 40 minute film and it is a character just going from one location to the next most of it is set within south africa and there's a lot of questionable i mean the whole film is very questionable um but the film doesn't kind of shy away from the stuff that you want to see if you want to see you know sexual violence if you want to see lots of gore and practical effects if you want to see some really kind of questionable kind of immoral kind of you know acts in the film you know i'm kind of gobsmacked it has got a 80th film release um which is a nice addition it's you know got a nice book case um there you go you get a booklet and you get a poster and get the, artwork there. the booklet itself i think is very good on the edition I, I did read a bit more into kind of category three and kind of like why the kind of the genre it's so why it became sort of like a subgenre itself and it became a sought after what are your thoughts on a bowl of syndrome please comment down below what are your thoughts on category three what is your favorite category three film that maybe is a little bit kind of you know questionable but has some really good stuff in it i don't know for me naked killer i think is pretty fucking awesome i, I really enjoyed that that's the one that i think deserves a good glorious 80th film release so many time guys i'm through reviews so i go